Hey guys, welcome back. It's Alex with Alex's Reef. So today I have for you the Tunzi Cumline Dock Nano Skimmer 9001. So this is a nano skimmer that's rated for anywhere between 5 to 37 US gallons or 20 to 140 liters. We're looking at the power efficiency at only running at 2.5 watts and overall in the dimension size you can see it in the millimeters there on the screen but in US it's running 4.3 inches long 2.5 inches wide and 8.5 inches high and the magnet on the back can hold up to 3 8 inch thick glass now there are some different ways to run this as you can hook up the motor to the side and a tube to do surface skimming. You can run the motor in the back to pull fresh water as it's draining into your system or as I run it you can do the motor inside to kind of get a circulating effect, a recirculating effect for the skimmer. Now I went ahead and sped this up for you guys because here was the uh, cleaning on this nano skimmer. It had been on the tank running since the Rico's Nano Tank Challenge had basically started. Uh, and of course I had it in the tank with the cycling system. So roughly since the end of December, very beginning of January. Uh, so I, I noticed a few things while it was running is after a couple months, you started to see that there was a uh, degradation in the foam that it was producing and that's because on the pump there is a little spot for the air tube to connect to well eventually your calcium builds up or other things build up so it starts to clog that and that's the only thing that I noticed was a real issue with this protein skimmer but it still was functioning and still putting out skimmate just not as efficiently and it made it a little bit louder now I went through and I cleaned it and of course you can just see all the gunk it had set overnight in a solution of vinegar and water uh, so nothing nothing harmful or anything like that but it, it cleaned up really well and there the nice thing about this skimmer is is once you find that sweet spot on it which it's got that marker you saw earlier and you'll see again uh, for what the water line to be at and, and that will give you the indication of whether you get a dry skim or a wet skim or you can do kind of in the middle there and get a little bit of the the both both worlds but this is the part that I was talking about that has the uh, the piece that gets clogged right there in the middle of the fins that's where the airline tubing connect it so guys I'm gonna fight this uh, protein skimmer real quick with getting this pump in but as you can tell I do run it with the pump facing inward and it does have some foam pieces that you could put in there to help block but I found out that when I ran the foam it only managed to clog up the system now here's the airline tubing it slides through this top piece and then it goes down in word of advice if you do take this thing apart that uh, you connect that airline tubing through the top piece and then to the pump before putting the pump actually into it because well as you'll see I had to take it back out and uh, make sure that they were connected and then redo it all over again now the the nano skimmer is very nice uh, would I trade it out for any other nano skimmer no normally this thing runs about a, depending on if you can find it on sale anywhere between 110 to 120 bucks for the right price, which I picked mine up for about $86, for the right price, it's a good skimmer. Uh, it's rock solid. I have no problems. The cup empty about every day, every two days, three days, depending on how much uh, the skimmer's actually pulling out or how much I've fed or what's just going on in the tank. And it's a very big life sustaining life part of the tank but over that i do quite enjoy this skimmer and i would recommend it to anybody 